Hopefully, you'll never need them. But if you should find yourself in a tricky situation, you'll be happy you did some research. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 life hacks that can help you in an emergency. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at simple but effective hacks that could prove useful in a wilderness emergency survival situation. Number 10. Pack a flat bike tire with grass. If you're a cyclist, flat tires are inevitable. For many, the solution is as simple as popping in their spare inner tube. But what if you forget to pack it, or worse, this is your second flat tire of the day? If you're in an isolated area, you're bound to start feeling pretty hopeless, but don't give up just yet. Your tire won't hold air, but it can still be given shape with another material, grass. Remove the tire, fill it with grass and leaves, and then put it back on the rim. It won't be quick, but it'll get you home. Number nine, always wear a belt. This might sound silly, but until you're in the sort of situation that requires ingenuity, you don't really appreciate just how useful a belt is. Think of a sturdy leather belt as a wearable emergency multi-tool. You can wrap it around your palms while handling hot items, or use it as a short rope. You can use it to sharpen a knife. From bundling firewood to securing the joint in a makeshift structure, your belt's sturdy leather and buckle can make your life a whole lot easier in an emergency. Heck, it can even be used as a defensive weapon. Number eight, can top fishing hooks. If you're starving, a nearby stream can be a blessing. But how are you gonna catch fish without your gear? Well, if this disaster began as a camping trip, you might have just the gear you need, a drink can tab. By cutting the tab at the joints and twisting, you can get a nice sharp makeshift hook. Now, what about bait? Well, in the great outdoors, it should be pretty easy to dig for worms or other tasty bugs. Hopefully you brought fishing twine as part of your survival gear, given its versatility, but in a pinch, twine or even shoelaces can work. Number seven, makeshift battery adapter. Unless you're a seriously minimalist woods person, chances are that your camping trips rely relatively heavily on various battery operated devices and tools. And as anyone in the modern world can relate to, one of the frustrations that comes with batteries are the various sizes. If your flashlight dies and all you've got are triple A's, and it takes doubles, that's not gonna work. Or is it? With a little aluminum foil, you can easily fashion a battery adapter of sorts to bridge the gap between the battery and the connectors on your device. You can even use tin foil to replace an entire missing battery. Number six, condom canteen. Regardless of whether a bit of adult intimacy is on the menu or not, it's not a bad idea to pack a few condoms all the same, specifically unlubricated ones. Small, compact, and virtually weightless, these super strong expanding tubes of latex can be a great way to store and transport water when you've got no other, more practical vessels on hand, like water bottles or canteens. It might look a little odd, but just think of it as a water balloon. And really, who cares about appearances when survival is your top priority? Number five, the ever versatile tampon. You've already got a pop can fishing hook, but with the addition of a tampon's plastic applicator, you can also have a makeshift bobber. Of course, this isn't the only purpose a tampon can serve in a pinch. People have been known to use tampons as rudimentary water filtration systems. They won't get rid of any bacteria in the water, but they can filter out physical debris so that all you need to do is boil the water. Last but not least, the material that tampons are made out of allows them to double as a great fire starter. Number four, a compass from a needle. Given its versatility, small size, and nearly non-existent weight, a sewing needle is something that you should never go camping or hiking without. Should you find yourself lost, you'll be particularly thankful that you packed it. By rubbing the tip back and forth against a material like silk, wool, hair, or fur, you can give it a low level of magnetism. Next, pierce it through a dry, slightly curved leaf, and then float that leaf in a stagnant pool of water while protecting it from wind with your body. Free floating, the magnetized needle will spin and point you in the direction of magnetic north. Number three, super glue temporary stitches. We really hope you never need to use this particular hack. Like a needle, a small tube of instant drying super glue is a great tool to have with you whenever you're going out on an adventure. Not only can it be used to quickly and effectively repair many of the tools and devices that might break while you're at the mercy of the wilderness, but should you find yourself with a nasty cut that needs to be stitched up, and you didn't bring a needle, super glue can serve as a temporary solution while you make your way to a proper medical facility. Number two, use chips as a fire starter. No one wants to give up their tasty snacks, 
let alone literally see them go up in flames. But when the choice is between freezing all night with nothing but some salty snacks to keep you warm, or the comforts of a nice campfire, the choice is a simple one. Because of the high fat content and dried out nature of the chips, particularly corn chips like Doritos or Fritos, they're a great way to get a fire going in the absence of an inedible alternative. As a bonus, they also have a surprisingly nice controlled burn to them. Number one, use a bra as a makeshift air filter. We really hope you never find yourself in an urban disaster that requires the use of a makeshift air filter. However, if it does happen, the cup of a bra is probably the quickest and easiest thing you can find in your own home that will provide at least rudimentary protection for your airways. This isn't going to filter out poisonous gas, but for physical matter in the air that could make it difficult to breathe, a bra can stand in for a basic breathing mask. An inventor in Chicago, Illinois actually markets bras with design features for just this purpose, but you can equally DIY it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.